Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install your windows. Uh, here's a rear window uh, I'm going to show you uh, that's going into a 61 bug. Uh, as you can see, uh, seals all are already on the window. And you see I got like some weed whacker line here which works perfect for going in the seal uh, before installing and I'm going to show you how to do this correctly here. You want to start at the bottom of the window and loop yourself all the way around so you come down to the bottom again and you're going to cross the lines and I'll show you what I mean by that and show you why you do that but uh, basically what I do is I just kinda make an arc in the weed whacker line and just start placing it in that flap and then once it's in the flap I can start feeding it just like that as you can see goes in fairly easy and then at the at the bottom this is where you cross them make sure you have a good cross there and they kinda overlap again west coast metric seals I used and then what I usually do is either get soap or silicone uh, don't use WD-40 it dirties up uh, your headliner uh, so some silicone or some soap and I rub it into the corners of the opening it allows the seal to seat in a little better. Uh, sometimes they get hung up in those corners and they don't want to sit flush. So you're going to want to uh, lubricate that. Okay, now here we go. Of course, put the wires in first, the line, the weed whacker line, and place it down. Two people uh, make it a lot easier job you want to slap it down. Don't hammer it down with your fist like my father just did there. <laughs> you want to slap it down. Okay, slap, slap. I have a video online showing the Australian uh, VW plant. You see how they actually use the sledgehammer to uh, hit the seal in, but I don't recommend that. So you want to start from the bottom and see where the overlap is. You start pulling the seal up. Pull the wire up so the seal goes upward. It's the easiest way to get it to pull out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, the wire up until like halfway up the side. So you go in evenly. So I'm going to go here we go. Sometimes it's a little difficult but you just keep wiggling and you should get it halfway up. Okay. Now you start on the other side and also go halfway up. it just seats the window in evenly all the way around you want to make sure before you pull this seal that the window is flush against that lip because if it's not flush you're going to pull the seal and it's not going to it's not going to catch the inner lip of the car and then as I'm pulling the wire you see I told my father to bang behind me to slap the window behind me so what that does is that'll seat the rubber even better and, and push the window into the opening there and so it you know so you're ready to basically finalize the the window so if you don't slap it that the rest of the, the rubber is not going to come all the way in so slap behind and as you pull them together now sometimes it gets a little tough you might have to hold one side because if you pull one side sometimes the wire starts slipping through but and boom that's it all right, now sometimes the inner the seal on the outside doesn't come out, so I get like a utensil or the end of a uh, plastic um, uh, paintbrush or whatnot, and you wedge it underneath to pull the seal outward. Happens a lot. Same thing here. We siliconed it the corners, and you want to slap down. Make sure you're lined up evenly, and you want that seal again to be flush. Against the, inner, the against the lip on the uh, the window opening, I'll show you here in a second on a close up. But uh, see, sometimes it doesn't sit in just right, no matter how hard you slap it in there, and you can't have that. You see that gap? You can't do that. So this time around, we we use silicone, and now it's starting to go in, as you can see. You see, I'm slapping down. Okay, and that's how close you want the rubber to be to the inner lip. 
It can't have any space. You can't get your fingers in there. It's got to be tight. So you, once you start pulling, it's going to wrap itself around. And again, I start from the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the back window, is just go halfway up one side. Again, my father's helping with slaps. Again, if you see the video I have on the Australian uh, assembly line, there's a, there's a short segment where I show how the factory workers used a hammer to hit the window in, which is, I don't know how they did it, but see halfway up one side, and now I'm going on the other side, and I'm going to go halfway up again. This just, like I said, makes it go in evenly. If you don't, front windshields can break. You pull one side and pull the other side until you're even Steven all the way around. Sometimes they go in pretty easily. Um, sometimes the aftermarket glass, if you do break a windshield, um, they sell aftermarket glass. And sometimes they might not just be cut to size just right. And uh, you might have a little trouble fitting in the opening. But that's about it. And I Pull, sometimes I pull it with a pair of pliers if it's really tight at the end. 64 and earlier were flat glass. 65 and later had a little bit of a bow in them. And that's uh, basically it. So, um, have any questions? Chris at classicvwbugs.com. <laughs>